So, a little while ago, I, um, was a, uh, well, a long time ago, if you're talking about the video I posted about Rubik's Cubes, but, uh, um, some time ago is the point that I'm trying to make. I subscribe to this channel called JPerm, and it's basically this uh, channel that, um, goes over, uh, basically a lot of the things that you need to know in order to solve a Rubik's Cube. And, you know, there's different types of uh, Rubik's Cubes. There are 3x3s, which is actually 3x3x3. Three by three by three. You get what I'm saying? 3x3x3 um, three by three by three is what it really is. There are 4x4s, four which are 4x4x4. Four by four by four. And five by fives, which is basically the same thing. It's five by five by five. And uh, you got these Rubik's Cubes, and each one has sort of like um, similar algorithms that you have to learn. Although, when you go up, the higher you go up, the more it kind of tweaks a little bit. And, you know, there's slight tweaks to the algorithms. Like, for example... Um, some of the same tweaks that you would use to solve a um, 4x4 or, or use to solve a 5x5. Five five. Um, this, of course, is because of the uh, outer layers, you know, are, are like... Uh, there's like corner pairing and there's kind of like... Um, this, this, this right here, this is... Uh, you, you match the centers up, you know, the, the orange, the white, the green, yellow, and all that to make sure they're on the same side, on the right side. And then you, uh, you, uh, put a, all the, uh, the corners, you, 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 you match the corners up after that. Then you solve it like a three by three. Very similar to a three by three, and that works with just about all of them. But there are, there's always some complexity to each one that there aren't um, in others. And um, even numbers have uh, have parities. I think that odd numbers don't. Odd numbers also have interesting parities that are slightly different than the parodies that you have when you do like uh, the even numbers, but they're very similar. Um, so, you know, if you did a seven by seven, that would be similar to doing a five by five, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, as for whether or not I'm going to do videos, speed cubing, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it all that much. Um, I, I, I've, I've kind of taken some um, time off and I've kind of, I kind of need to, to, to catch back up on the algorithms that I need to, to learn in order to do things really fast. Uh, I wasn't really fast in that very first video, but I was um, studying algorithms that could have made me a lot faster than I am. And I need to uh, maybe get into this, you know, as sort of like a little hobby to do while doing um, other things like math and learning and stuff. And uh, and I might use stuff to, to, to make interesting videos with. I don't know how things are going to go, but I just wanted to go over that. I have these Rubik's Cubes. I could make videos about them and possibly will. I just need time to get used to uh, the muscle memory and the algorithms it takes in order to uh, in order to do it properly. 